Utah Tech University's Institute of Politics celebrated Constitution Day by handing out copies of the U.S. Constitution. Do you want a free Constitution for Constitution Day? Sure, what is this? So, uh, so today's Constitution Day, so we're helping. It's also National uh, Voter Registration Day. So if you would like to register to vote, we can get you registered to vote and we'll just give you a free Constitution for Constitution Day on behalf of the university. Oh, that's great, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. It was on September 17, 1878, that 39 brave men signed and ratified the historic document that has stood the test of time. Its purpose is to guarantee citizens certain rights. What, what rights do they have, you know? What does it say? And, and the best way to do that is to have them read it for themselves, right? Johnson believes one of the most important rights is the First Amendment, freedom of speech. Um, and so I, I'm a strong believer in letting people say what they believe, right, and, and letting people express their opinions and learn and grow from those opinions. According to a report from the Institute for Democracy and Higher Education, voter turnout among college students jumped to a record high of 66 percent in the 2020 presidential election. That was 14 percent higher than in 2016. Several students on the Utah Tech campus who passed by the Human Performance Center took advantage of the opportunity to scan the app to register to vote. So you feel like you have a voice, right? I mean, all things said and done, at the end of the day, you get to choose, right? And you get to activate and do that choice and take action to do so. And so that's why it's important. You know, we should be knowledgeable about what's going on and actually do the work to do that and get it through how things are going right now and all those uh, moral values and things that are really disappearing are really part. I want to make sure that I put my vote and uh, I do want to participate in what is really happening in the country and I uh, want to be part of it. I think it's important to vote because you gotta get what you think out there. You can't just let everyone else decide for you. It's important what you think. That's what we're just trying to get people to understand is they can have an impact. I think there's been a modern idea that my vote doesn't really matter, right? Like I can't make a difference. And the thing is you do, right? And everyone's vote like has a huge impact in, in our society overall. Each election cycle, universities across the state compete in the Secretary of State's Campus Cup, yeah. where they see how many students they can get to register to vote. And whoever can get the most people registered to vote, um, just kind of keeping track of the numbers of who's all registered, um, that they've registered, then they count to different points, and whoever gets the most points wins this big trophy at the end of the year. The Bill of Rights gives citizens certain unalienable rights, the Constitution is considered the most powerful when followed and enforced. The Constitution is not just a dead document, it's a living document. It's something that we've looked at our mistakes, we've grown, right, and we've become better throughout time, right? Now, it's something that we have to be vigilant about, and so that's, that's where voting comes in, helping people to vote so we can keep this document alive and empowered. But perhaps the biggest reward at the end of the day is empowering students to understand their freedom and right to vote. I've been meaning to do it for a while and I figure I might as well do it with the guy who gave me a free constitution. Yep, I second that. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's not just how everyone else votes, it depends on you too. From Utah Tech University, Melissa Anderson Community, Education News.